Alright, so today we're doing arm day. Um, first one I like to start with is biceps. So for biceps, um, I really like this machine here. And I use this bar here, this is one of my favorite bars to use. It allows you to bend your wrist the right way without having to go flat. So we're going to pick a weight that we like. We're going to keep the arms to the side, okay? And we're going to focus, just like we did before, just using the bicep all the way up. And then releasing the bicep down, get a stretch, come up. Don't come all the way down. And then we're going to, once we get the connection, right, like before, then we're going to start bringing it up, going faster. And we're going to want to get the, um, the speed, right, like we were before. This was too light, I shouldn't have done this light, but it's a little bit way heavier. Alright. And you just try to get only the bicep to it. And just feel the bicep, be a part. Size triceps, we just did bicep. So, same machine, just drag it up. And same, almost the same type of movement. Now, for these, what I do to make sure I get the, um, all the tension on my bicep muscle, is I kind of lean back a little bit and I just focus on just extending my arm out. And all my hands, my hands on top of it. And I kind of just straighten my arm out. And I just kind of try to feel it. Right. I get the full contraction right there. See how wide out it is? And then that's that. And I just feel the tricep doing all the work. And I just hit it. Like that's too tight. You know? It is taking forever to get to failure, right? I want to get to failure quickly. Yes. focus is like anything else we want to get the mind muscle connection in the abs and we're going to be doing that today with lifting the legs the first set is going to be lifting the legs so first one which we did which was going to be lift the chest up so you can get a stretch in the abs and then you're going to lift up you're going to come down here you can use only your abs to lift the legs like yeah. that right about there's a perfect range only have the abs come into play. He can really feel it. Now, the other one we can do is we're going to lift our legs straight up right, right here. And you can do this without the bar. You can put your hands down if you don't have a bar. If you have three clients, five clients is $20,000. Minus fees, which probably will be $12,000. If you have a bar, it's yes. easier. Well, with the bar, you can hold the bar. With the bar, you can keep your legs out, too, to really get more pressure on the abs. But feel the abs is the most important part. So up to there. And then turn Now, the important thing, when I was, when I was doing those, You'll notice I wasn't coming all the way down. Just like we weren't coming all the way down on the other ones. So when I come up, so I will come up, this would be all the way down. I come up, I come right there. We're gonna do a regular sit-up. Now regular sit-ups aren't really good for you because they, they put a lot of strain on your lower back. However, if you do them this way, you won't have that, so listen to this. If you want, you want anything more? So, yeah. you come down, 
the reason why people hurt their back on sit-ups is because they're, fun- they're trying to do more sit-ups. We don't care about doing more sit-ups. I'm trying to tear the abs. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come up right here. See, I'm already shaking. Right there. And then I'm going to come up and I'll stay right here in this right. Like that. Just like everything else, right? But I'm going to wait. If you're trying to fail in two reps, I'm going to put it behind my head or wherever I can handle the weight before I fail right? So for me, I'll probably be here. Then I'm going to do a one line. See how I did that? How can someone...